Good morning, everyone. Welcome to, is it morning time still? Let's check. It's not morning, so welcome to Sunday afternoon devotion. Um, per usual, typically I say my prayer first. <clears throat> I'll say my morning prayer first, or in this case, afternoon prayer first. We get into devotion. We read the scriptures that's associated with the devotion, and you choose at that point whether you desire to look them up. So let's take a moment to thank God for another day. All right, so I've praised that prayer um, or a prayer time overall is intimate for me. So I do it off camera. So hopefully you take advantage and, you know, thank Big G for another one. So let's get into it. Today is February 25th. So we're going to read the devotion for that day <clears throat> as it reads. Excuse me, I thought we dry. My Savior God, help me to rest deeply in you, forgetting about the worries of the world. May your living presence envelop, envelop me in peace as I focus on you. Emmanuel, I find comfort in your eternal security, knowing that you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. Sometimes I live too much on the surface of life, focusing on ever-changing um, phenomena. I think that's how I pronounce that. If I consistently live this way, I eventually reach the point where I echo the sentiment of Solomon. Meaningless, meaningless, everything is meaningless. I'm learning that the way to instill meaning into my days is to live in collaboration with you. I need to begin each day alone with you so I can experience the reality of your presence. As I spend time focusing on you and your world, I ask you to open up the way before me step by step. When I arise from this peaceful time of communion and begin my journey through the day, I'm aware that you go with me. I hold on to your hand and deliberate dependence on you, and you smooth out the path before me. Thank you, Jesus. In your strong, dependable name, Jesus, amen. So at this time, we are going to, well, I'm going to read the scriptures that's associated with this. Oh, and I forgot to, I forgot to add into the video. I'm reading from Jesus Listens, which can be purchased on Amazon. So if you're interested, go ahead and get your copy. So let's get to the scriptures. First scripture, Matthew chapter 1, verse 23. Again, that's going to be Matthew chapter 1, verse 23. Excuse me, second scripture, Hebrews. He, why do I say Hebrews like that? Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8. Again, it's going to be Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8. Um, third one, Ecclesiastes. I'm pronouncing that all wrong. I know. I'm Ecclesiastes. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I know. It's supposed to be being serious. Okay. Ecclesiastes. If I'm pronouncing that correctly at all. Chapter 1, verse 2. Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 2. I feel like I butchered that scripture. God, I'm sorry. You know, I don't mean no harm. Fourth scripture, Proverbs chapter 3 verse 6. Again, that's going to be Proverbs chapter 3 verse 6. And that concludes our Sunday afternoon devotion. Yeah, that concludes that. So, again, don't forget to thank Big G for another day that he lets you see. Period. Um, I'm sending positive energy your way, positive energy your way, positive energy your way. I hope today is a prosperous day for you. Um, and say it with me. You should know what's coming next. Say it with me. Say it with me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Create the energy that you want in your space. Again, create the energy that you want in your space. Simply, you don't want them around, they got to go. If you're feeling a weird vibe off of them, they got to go. If you're sensing a weird type of energy from that certain individual, uh-huh, yeah, you, you got it, you got it, they got to go. Anyways, have an amazing, amazing guy. Guy. Why did I say it backwards and all out of whack? Have an amazing day, guys. What's wrong with me today? Am I, I, I know I'm up, but my God. Have an amazing, amazing day, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.